morning time. It's just about eight o'clock. I was up late because these guys ate dinner really late, but it was worth it. It was really, really worth it. Oh, and I'm a puppy. Hard to see. There is snow capped mountain in the background. There's lots of people fishing, and I think they're all Russian. They got many lines going, complicated electronic system, generators, and plenty of vodka and beer. Even at 8 a.m., I see the peeps drinking away. Leaving the reservoir behind and starting a long ascent up to the mountain. So last night, um, it took a long time for the dinner to be prepared, but yet, yeah, like I mentioned before, it was worth it. And when I went into my tent, my tent was already wet from condensation inside and out. And my um, quilt was also damp, so I didn't have exactly the warmest night. Oh, this is getting pretty brushy. What a great area. I wonder if I could have camped in there of getting all that condensation and um, down there. These climbs are actually pretty darn steep and uh, a little bit slippery. Oh, thank you for the handlebars. Yeah, yeah, I need to recover for a second before this final steep up. <sighs> Out of breath. These flowers they remind me of Easter. Easter. I'm resting on this rock because I can like lie down and it's very comfy. I see other I see all these day hikers, but they're not on the same trail as me. So I think there's like a steep trail and then there's maybe a more gradual trail that vehicles can also take. There's a big cafe at the top. You can't see it. it's behind the thing, but it's Saturday, so I don't think it's going to be open. At least not this early, which is a shame because I would have loved a hot coffee and pastry. Hmm. Another bunker on the way up towards the cafe. There's some really neat rusty sculptures here. My tour, my tour ends here. <laughs> I don't want to get wet feet so early in the day. A complex of white buildings in the valley. This is the main base of Undorf, the United 1,165 meters above sea level. In front of you is the Canetra Valley, full of orchards and vineyards, which has become a symbol of the flourishing agriculture here on the Golan Heights. This region is of vast importance for the defense of the state of Israel, especially for intelligence gathering purposes. 
On a clear day, you can see the wind power. I could people watch this tour group all day, but I gotta get going. The place that's close is called Coffee and Man. It's a play on Coffee and Man from the UN, as well as Man means cloud. More sculptures on the other side of the path. <laughs> they're, they're pretty cute. Oh, and there is a water tap here, so I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. It's a trail inside the trench? So the guys helped me step over the trenches because I was unsure of my big step and this is a very very steep slippery hill. <laughs> Lovely purples! and cake I got like 25 kilometers and it's 11 o'clock so no time for any more dilly-dallying time to go Bye. Wow. I love the flowers Woohoo! just unbelievable we got some cows that moved out the way. Oh, that one's pooping. And a white horse standing up. And a brown and a white one. Relaxing. Please don't come close to me. Okay. Just relax. More past. Oh. I, I, everywhere I look, there's more and more and more and more flowers. Many horses. And young ones, old ones. Happy ones. Look at these sweet, sweet horses. So nice. Completed the end of section five. Moving on to section six, 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 six. This would have been a great place to camp. It is so weird to be just randomly walking and then all of a sudden you spot a giant tank. This trail has shown me the most tanks I've ever seen in my entire life. Quite a bit of damage on that building. Danger mines! And more horses, lots of horses. Right in the middle of their area. And there's a bibby. Look at that little fool. Bye! Not sure where I'm heading. I've been crossing all these water things for a while. Really, really, really wet in here. Just cross that water thing there, hanging on to the landmine fence. <laughs> There's uh, landmines on both sides of this road. I did climb up to the windmills. Some more bunker and duggy. fields everywhere. Stay on the path. Don't worry, I will. Lucky. I came down from there, way down. Now climbing back up and it's just like, oh, what's that? Another tank. Tanks a lot. Ha ha. No post tower. I was climbing. No, I think I'm still climbing. Maybe I'm going up there. This is as high as I can go up this mountain because of the outpost. 
so the trail turns down here. Stage six is now done. The last stage for today is stage number seven. My, my snack is magic chocolate. Magic. Oh, the chocolate has pop rocks inside. It is like, it is magic in my mouth. Rocky down, but beautiful. Mortal danger. Big group down there. Turning down the road. Very sadly, I've felt a few drops of rain. Mm. This is an interesting marker. It is actually a ba -ba trash can. But it's also a seat if you want to sit and look at the horses. New. Adorable, look at the little one. Huh. Now it's raining. I think I have about four more kilometers to go today. Fenced out, not because of landmines this time, but this is the Golan Heights uh, Reserve for the Golan Heights iris flower. I don't see any from here. I, I don't actually know if they're in bloom right now, but I guess they're in here somewhere. Maybe it is this flower. Maybe. The water wasn't moving so fast, I would rock hop that. But there's a barbed wire fence. And I imagine myself falling and then getting tangled up in that. And that's too dangerous. This section is incredibly frustrating because there's so much muck and it's all churned up by the uh, cows and so sometimes you think oh I'll go around the muck and then you're in a swamp and then you think oh I'll stand on this nice piece of mud that's higher than everything else and it's poop tricked you very slow going well my feet got thoroughly soaked it was all swamp on either side and yup totally soaked down ooh what happened up here this building destroyed wow does not look safe at all give up I'm gonna rinse off a bit this is a bombed out mosque. Wow. Okay, goodbye to the mosque. And I may have made a grave miscalculation because it's Saturday. And I'm trying to hitchhike, but there's zero cars. I can't walk the 15 kilometers. Oh boy. Okay, so in 10 minutes, five cars passed, one car stopped, but they were turning off the other way. The other four cars were... <sighs> Have half an hour till it gets dark. It's 15 kilometers if I walk. I'm very lucky. The ninth car picked me up. They weren't going exactly where I was going, but they took me all the way here and straight to the hostel. I checked into the hostel and I had a cold shower because they didn't tell me how to turn on the heat and then I was already in the shower. Now I'm in, I don't know, some kind of weird Russian-Chinese place eating, waiting for some noodles.